Welcome to the Travel Ball National Championship powered by Nation Baseball and TravelBallSelect.com, the most competitive youth baseball in America. Today right here in Atlanta, Georgia, Nation Baseball, the only organization in America that has the true class play program with proprietary systems to match the teams of equal. Testing one, two, three, one, two, three. Five, four, three, two, and one. Five, four, three, two, and one. He's coming through there. Continue on. Match up this afternoon of two Georgia teams, Bandit Baseball and 6-4-3 Cougars. Cougars out of Marietta, Georgia, coached by Steve Robertson. And Bandits Baseball out of Ringgold, Georgia. A little late starting today because this Bandit Baseball team just pulled out a 4-3 win in semifinal action on field seven over the San Diego Show out of San Diego, California. Nate Dunphy, the leadoff hitter aboard for the Bandits. And the pitch there to Dylan Cup, who's the starting pitcher for the Bandits, swung out and missed for a strike. Again on the hill for 6-4-3, Braden Pierce will set the defensive line up here in just a moment. Pierce rears back, fires, swung at and missed. Here's the throw down to second. Cooper Davidson there to cover, but sliding in safely is Dunphy. And the Bandits with a runner down at second. Again, a very, very quick turnaround for this Bandit Baseball Ball Club. The pitch to Dylan Cup. He ducks, comes in high, a little inside. And a pitch taken for a ball. One ball, two strikes. Here in the top of the first from the East Cobb Complex in Marietta. As a chopper hit the third, fielded by Zeke Moore, he'll throw across the diamond in time to get the runner for the first out here in the top of the first. Runner moves to third, that's Nate Dunphy. And with one out, there's now a runner at third. Five to three on the put out. Zeke Moore to Ryan Novak. Brings up the number three hitter, Brody Gentner. And first pitch looked like it hit him in the shoulder. So Gentner hit by a pitch. Makes his way down to first. That'll bring up the cleanup hitter in the lineup. Batting fourth is Chase Goddard, the third baseman. Bandits dressed in their white pants, gray jerseys. Tough to read those numerals. And the white pants and the bright pink jerseys here for 6-4-3. 6-4-3 ball club based out of Marietta, Georgia. Here's the first pitch. The runner is going to go. The throw is a little wide of the bag. The runners will advance now. Dunphy comes in to score from third. The throw back in over the head of the third baseman and coming in to score is Brody Gentner, and just like that, the Bandits out to a 2-0 lead. Dunphy the run scored, and Gentner the run scored. A couple of plays defensively here by this 6-4-3 ball club causing some problems. The pitch to Goddard. No balls, two strikes, one out here in the inning. Goddard followed by Garen Ramey. Here's the wind on the pitch. Again, that was about head helmet high there. Kind of knocks him down. Braden Pierce, the starting pitcher. Brandon Trichel behind the plate. Ryan Novak at first. Cooper Davidson at second. K.K. Toe is short. And Zeke Moore at third. Pierce winds, delivers. Missed way outside. And the count now even at two balls, two strikes. 
Luke Mizdak in left field, Harrison Weber in center, DJ Rosari in right field. Steve Michael Davidson and Greg Weber. Here's a bouncer to second, fielded by the shortstop. Toe makes the throw across to Novak at first. Six to three on the putout. And there are two, to, uh, two out. Here's Garen Ramey, batting fifth in the order. Here for the Bandits. So the left-handed bat of Garen Ramey facing Braden Pierce. He turns and fires the first pitch. Chopper fielded there by the second baseman, Cooper Davidson. Quick throw to Ryan Novak at first, retires the side, out number three, four to three on the putout. But two runs scored, Dunphy and Brody Gentner both crossing the plate, giving the Baseball Bandits, the early 2-0 lead here in the 9U Championship game of the Travel Baseball Championship. We'll get back with more from East Cobb Baseball Complex in Marietta, Georgia, after this timeout on TravelBallSelect.com. Coverage of our Travel Ball National Championship game, 9U from East Cobb, Georgia. Battle of two Georgia teams, 6-4-3 out of Marietta, Georgia. And a baseball bandits out of Ringgold, Georgia. First batter here for 6-4-3 is KK Toe. He takes a strike in that first pitch. Swung and fouled, tipped it. And he's behind on the count now, no balls and two strikes. It'll be KK Toe, AJ DeMastry, and Ryan Novak. Top third of the order. Toe the shortstop. And Novak at first. The right hander winds, delivers. Leading the starting pitcher here, number three, Dylan Cup. On the hill here for the Bandits. One ball, two strikes. Cup winds, delivers, throws way over the head. That thing bounces off the Travel Ball National Championship banner behind home plate. And the count is even at two balls and two strikes. Two two pitch called third strike. KK Toe down on strikes. And there's one away. Bottom of the first inning here on field eight. A couple of teams from Georgia battling for the championship. A.J. Jamestry, pitch over his head.
Out of the stretch. Delivery on the inside corner of the strike zone for a strike. Count even at one ball, one strike to DeMastry. Again, Ryan Novak in the on-deck circle. One-one pitch. Down low. Nice backhanded stab by the catcher, Ross Norman. And defensively with Dylan Cup on the hill, Ross Norman behind the plate, Garen Ramey at first, Davis Chastain at second, Cade Cowan at short, and Chase Goddard at third. This one here hit on the ground to short, fielded nicely there by K.K. Toe, or should I say Cade Cowan, and Cowan makes the throw across the diamond to Ramey. Four out number two, 6-3 on the putout. We were talking about K.K. Toe who let off and took a strikeout. Brings up the first baseman, Ryan Novak. Novak hits third in that 6-4-3 lineup. So the first pitch high for ball one. The outfield for the Bandits, Tyler Goddard in left, Nate Dunphy in center, Jack Fleming in right. And a pitch on the inside corner for a strike, evens the count. One ball, one strike. Here to Ryan Novak. Brandon Trichel would hit next if Novak gets aboard. Swung at and looped into foul territory down the third base side. They'll give Chase Goddard and Goddard Tyler in left and his brother Chase at third, giving Chase. Neither can get there in time. And a count now, a ball and two strikes. One ball, two strikes here to Ryan Novak. Left-handed bat, facing the righty on the hill, Dylan Cup. Cup, a 1-2 pitch, swung at, hit on the ground again to the shortstop. Cowan throws across the diamond, not in time, safe at first is Ryan Novak as he beats it out. First hit of the ball game for 6-4-3. And the Cougars with a two-out single here in the infield, trailing 2-0. Head coach of the Bandits, Kit Cowan, Butch Genner, Mike Dunphy, Wayne Cup, the assistants. They were 21-13 in 2013. Playing for the championship here this afternoon against the 6-4-3 Cougars. Brings up Brandon Trichel. He shows bunt right back in front of the mound. A little too much on that bunt, the throw to first. From Dylan Cup to Garen Ramey in time. One to three on the put out. And that will retire the 6-4-3 Cougars here in the bottom of the first. No runs on one hit. There were no errors in one left. We heading out of the second inning. Here in Marietta, Georgia. Bandits baseball out of Ringgold, Georgia, leading the 6-4-3 Cougars out of Marietta, Georgia, two to nothing. You're watching coverage of the Travel Ball National Championship right here on TravelBallSelect.com.
Dave Cohen back here at East Cobb Complex along with our production crew, Matthew Kent, Jamel Smith, and Amy Walker. 2-0 our score, the Bandits of Bandit uh, Baseball out of Ringgold, Georgia. 2-0 lead over the 6-4-3 Cougars. Top of the second, Ross Norman, the number six hitter, followed by Tyler Goddard and Cade Cowan. Scheduled to hit first pitch, taken for ball one. And the second pitch, I got him on the, did it get, no, it didn't hit him on the helmet. Kit Cowan looked like he had started to come out of the dugout over there in front of the Bandits dugout, but count one ball, one strike. And Pierce delivers outside corner for a strike. Now one and two. So one ball, two strike count here on Ross Norman, the catcher. One, two pitch, swung at. This one here is looped out into shallow center and it's caught by the center fielder. Great job by number 99, Harrison Weber. And there's one away here in the second. Great job by Harrison Weber out here in center field, diving straight ahead, getting that glove out, and almost backhanding it to make the catch. Great play defensively. One out, and we'll bring up the number seven hitter in the lineup, the left fielder, Tyler Goddard. Looks like Goddard having a shoe issue before he steps into the box. 2 nothing. our score. Bandits baseball on top of 6-4-3 Cougars. And a first pitch, big swing, and this one here is hit just foul down the line in left field. 2.30 down the line in left, 2.50 to straightaway center, and 2.30 down the line in right here on field eight at East Cobb. Aaron Baseball coming on to field eight here from the field just adjacent and behind us. So they'll retrieve and remove that baseball. Play will continue. One out here in the second. Here's Tyler Goddard facing a no ball, one strike count. A lot of contact on that previous pitch, but foul. Pierce delivers. Strike on the outside corner. It's 0 2. No balls, two strikes. Pierce winds, delivers. This one here hit on the ground to short. And fielded there by KK Toe across to Ryan Novak. And there's two away. 6 3 on the putout. Here's Cade Cowan for the Bandits. Cowan, the number eight batter in the order. First pitch on the way from Pierce. Inside corner of the zone for a strike. It's 0-1. The 0-1 pitch by Pierce. Swung at, hit on the ground again. The toe is short. He'll field it cleanly. And fires across to Novak, 6-3 again on the putout. So back-to-back -back ground ball outs to toe at short. And the Cougars retire the Bandits in order. Norman, Goddard, and Cowan in order. One, two, three, no runs, no hits, no errors. Nobody left. We head now to the bottom of the second. The Cougars coming to the plate. Back to Marietta, Georgia. Coverage of the Travel Ball Championship. Continues after this on TravelBallSelect.com.
Dave Cohen back here at East Cobb's Baseball Complex. We invite you to visit TravelBallSelect.com to see the latest news, national rankings, and players to watch in travel baseball nationwide. Also go to na NationsBaseball.com to enter a travel ball event in your area. 2-0 our score, Bandit Baseball out of Ringgold, Georgia, leading 6-4-3 Cougars out of Marietta, Georgia, playing the bottom of the second. Sharply hit ball to third. That's a fair ball fielded there by Goddard. And Goddard to throw across the diamond, not in time. Not sure if that hit the bag at all as he was trying to field that. Harrison Weber picks up a single on the first pitch. Here in the second, brings up Luke Vizdak, who hits sixth in the lineup. Another right-handed bat in the lineup here for the 6-4-3 Cougars. Dylan Cup turns, delivers, sharply hit ball, fair ball down the line in left field. Rounding second is Harrison Weber, and Weber's going to hold up at third. Nice throw back in by Tyler Goddard out in left field. And with nobody out now, the 6-4-3 Cougars threatening runners at second and third here in the bottom of the second. So back the outfielders up. A little bit more towards the warning track. Vizdak comes up with a double, and here's Zeke Moore. Pitch from Cup comes in high with the fastball, taken for ball one. So the one ball, no strike count. Here in the second with nobody out, runners second and third. On the outside corner, on that pitch to Zeke Moore, taken for a strike. The count is even at one ball, one strike. Dylan Cup working with Ross Norman behind the plate. Here's the 1-1 delivery. Swung at and missed fastball that sailed a little high and inside. It looked a little too enticing for Moore. He swung. And he's behind on the count now, one and two. So one ball, two strikes. Cup the side, comes set, here's the pitch. Swung at, missed, another fastball high. And Zeke Moore is down on strikes, the first down of the inning for the 6-4-3 Cougars. Here's the pitcher, Braden Pierce. A big strikeout there for Dylan Cup. As they were well aware of his power potential. Still second and third, one down. The first pitch to Pierce from Cup. Sails right in there for a strike. Great location on that pitch by Cup. He's ahead here, no balls and a strike. The right hander comes set again, facing the righty. Winds and delivers. Swung at, missed. And a ball comes out of the glove of Norman, but was right behind home plate and so the runners will hold again Harrison Weber at third Luke Vizdak at second the count no balls two strikes here to Braden Pierce cup delivers swung at foul tip to the back screen count remains no balls two strikes Happy to have you with us this afternoon. A little bit of cloud cover coming in over field eight here at East Cobb. Two nothing our score, Bandit Baseball leading 6-4-3 Cougars. A couple of Georgia teams here for the championship. A one-two pitch, cup winds and fires. This one here is gonna be a chopper and it's gonna land in the glove of the second baseman, Davis Chastain, but it was behind second. One run scores coming in as Harrison Weber to make it a 2-1 ball game. It's fielded nicely, but by the time the ball wound up in Chastain's glove, there was no play to be made. Runners now at the corners, first and third, as Pierce singles and picks up the RBI. Hitting ninth in the lineup is Cooper Davidson, the second baseman. Pinch runner now over at first for Pierce. Again, their starting pitcher.
Trying to get you a number on that pinch runner. First pitch on the way from Cooper Davidson. From Dylan Cup. Checks the runner at third. Turns, delivers. Strike on the outside corner. The pinch runner is Zeke Moore. He steals second on the pitch, so again, second and third here for the Cougars in a 2-1 ball game. Swung at, this one here, looped over second. Who's going to make the play? Davidson will try to hurry up at, at first, doesn't make it. One run scores to tie the ball game at two. So Vizdak comes in to score on the hit by Davidson. That'll go as a single, an infield hit. He picks up the RBI, and we got a 2-2 ball game. Only one out. That was the strikeout of Moore. And right now is the pinch runner. He's over there at third. Cooper Davidson, the runner at first. Runners at the corners again with one out. And Bandits head coach Kit Cowan out of the dugout to have a conference on the mound with his infield. You look at this bandit ball club. March was certainly their month. They placed no lower than third in three different NIT tournaments and pitched very good games against some solid hitting teams. And they've continued that here in this tournament, the Travel Ball National Championship here at East Cobb. Ramsey Robertson at the plate. Hitting 10th in the order. There's a throw back over to first. Not in time. 2-2 Two -two our score. Two runs have crossed as Weber and Vizdak have scored here in the second for the Cougars. First pitch. Shows bunt strike right over the plate. Meanwhile, Davidson has taken second base. So second and third again for the Cougars, one out. Four hits in the inning for 6-4-3 Cougars so far. Dylan Cup gets a hold of this one, drives this one out into left field, but it's foul. Just shy of the 230 marker. That one about 200 feet, 210 from home plate. But he's behind on the count here. No balls, two strikes. Big pitch on the way here from the pitcher, Dylan Cup. Swung at. This one here is drilled out in the left. A diving catch again made by Goddard. Great throw back in, and the runners hold. Two outs in the inning. Outstanding catch out in left field by Tyler Goddard. And there's two away. DJ Azari stepping to the plate. He hits 11th in their order. They bat all 11. A 2-2 ball game here with runners at second and third. Zeke Morp, the pinch runner for Pierce, is at third, and Davidson's at second. First pitch to Azari. Swung at and missed at a high fastball. It's 0-1. No balls and a strike. Dylan Cup comes set, fires again. This time, similar pitch. Azari holds. The count even a one ball, one strike. He didn't chase it that time. So the count one ball, one strike. On deck circle, top of the order. Shortstop KK Toe. One ball, one strike. Here's the pitch. Into the wind and the delivery. Swung at, and that's sharply hit, but foul down the first base side. Just down the line. Again, as I mentioned, 230 down the line and right. That ball rolls all the way into the corner. Jack Fleming retrieves the foul ball. The count now, ball and two strikes.
One-two pitch on the way. Dylan Cup steps off the back of the mound, rubs a little bit of dirt on his hands. A little cooler right now than it's been in the two earlier games that we've done. Here's the pitch. Outside corner called third strike. Beautiful location. Izari is down on strikes. He struck out two here in the second, getting Zeke Moore and then DJ Azari right there. But two runs score after the two leadoff hits, the single by Weber and the double by Vizdak. RBIs from Braden Pierce and Cooper Davidson score the two runs to tie the ball game. We're tied at two heading to the third. You're watching coverage of the Travel Ball National Championship from East Cobb Baseball Complex in Marietta, Georgia, right here on TravelBallSelect.com. Dave Cohen back here, East Cobb Complex, along with our production crew, Matthew Kent, Jamel Smith, along with Amy Walker. 2-2 ball game as we play the third. Jack Fleming at the plate. Big swing and a miss there. And the count is even at one ball, one strike. Two Georgia teams here in the championship. And the 1-1 is slapped into right field. Here's the throw to first and they got him. What a throw by the right fielder DJ Rosari to Ryan Novak at first and they retired Jack Fleming. So nine to three on the put out. You don't see that kind of put out that, that often but you saw it that time. Here's the number 10 batter in their lineup, Davis Chastain. Gets a hold of the first one here. First pitch right out into left field where it's caught. On the catch out there in left field, Luke Vizdak. And just like that, there's two outs. F7 on the put out. We're back to the top of the order. And it's Nate Dunphy. Dunphy walked and scored a run in the first. Time called as Dunphy steps out. Pierce winds, delivers. Pitch low and outside, ball one. A 1-0 delivery to Dunphy. In there for a strike. Caught the lower portion of that strike zone. And the count is even at one ball, one strike. Bandits scored their two runs in the first. They did it without hitting the baseball. There's a strike. They run the count to one and two. The runs were scored by Dunphy who walked and Gentner who was hit by a pitch. A one-two pitch, swung at miss, strike three. And the Bandits go in order. Nothing going offensively for Fleming, Chastain, or Dunphy. No runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left. We head to the bottom of the third inning here at East Cobb in Marietta, Georgia. Coverage of the Travel Ball National Championship. Back with more after this on TravelBallSelect.com.
Dave Cohen back here, East Cobb Complex, just north of Atlanta. Dylan Cup still on the hill. The first pitch is a fly ball out into center field where Nate Dunphy makes the catch. That coming off the bat of the shortstop, KK Toe. Here in the bottom of the third, we've got a 2-2 ball game. Georgia Bandits, Bandits baseball out of Ringgold, Georgia. And 6-4-3 Cougars out of Marietta, Georgia. Here's the pitch to you, A.J. DeMastry. Shortstop makes the throw, Cade Cowan. Across to Garen Ramey. And just like that, there's two down. Six to three on that put out. And here's Ryan Novak. Novak, the first baseman for this Cougars ball club. Again, the Cougars, white pants, bright pink jerseys. White pants. Gray jerseys, black hats here for the Bandits. Two down. First pitch by Cup. This one here is going to be a line drive single into right field. And the throw back in, not in time, as Novak delivers his second single of the ball game. He's got two hits for the Cougars. And hitting fourth in that cleanup spot is Blandon Trichel, who was thrown out on a bunt by the pitcher Dylan Cup. So Trichel at the plate, his second plate appearance this afternoon. Cup comes set, delivers. It was a pitch out. Here's the throw down to first. And Novak back to the bag at first in plenty of time. You're watching the Travel Ball National Championship broadcast right here on TravelBallSelect.com. 2-2 ball game here in the third. Here's the pitch, another outside pitch. Here's the throw down. It's not in time. It actually gets through out to Dunphy in center, but the runner will hold. That is Novak now at second base. Had a little bit of rain come through the ballpark. Looks like it's held up here for the moment. And I know our production crew and our equipment is thankful for that. Two balls, no strikes to count here on Brandon Trichel. Harrison Weber, who scored the first run for the Cougars, is in the on-deck circle. Pitch on the outside corner for a strike. And a count now, three and one. So three balls, one strike. Here to Brandon Trichel. Runner down at second, two away. Runner's going to take third. There's the throw, but it was a walk. And Trichel draws the base on ball. Still the stolen base goes for Novak, who stole second and now just stole third. And here's Harrison Weber. Weber singled in the second, scored a run. He scored the first of the two runs for the 6-4-3 Cougars. Cup gets the sign, checks the runner at first, turns and makes the throw over to first base. Diving back in in time is Brandon Trichel. First pitch on the way here to Novak. Out of the stretch. Pitch on the outside corner for ball one, just missed the strike zone. And it's a one ball, no strike count. Wind picks up here a little bit at the ballpark here on field eight. Cup delivers, sails high and inside. Taken for ball two. Meanwhile, Churchill heads down to second. So the Cougars aggressive on the base pads here this afternoon.
out of the stretch. The righty winds and fires outside corner for a strike to make it two and one. Luke Vizdak moves into the on-deck circle. Pitch to Weber, down low, ball three. Three balls and one strike to count here on Weber. Three one pitch from Cup inside corner. Three balls, two strikes, runs the count full. So the payoff pitch on the way. Three balls, two strikes. Cup comes set, turns, delivers, swung at, and hit to second. Fielded and thrown to first by Cade Cowan. Uh, by Davis Chastain, I should say. Chastain to Ramey. And that is out number three. So Ramey is down on a four to three put out. A couple of runners stranded there by the six four three Cougars. And as we head now to the top of the fourth here in East Cobb, we've got a two two ball game. Bandits baseball out of Ringgold, Georgia, six four three Cougars. Locally out of Marietta, Georgia, tied at two. You're watching coverage of the Travel Ball National Championship right here on TravelBallSelect.com. Travel Bowl National Championship, 9U, as our tournament coverage continues. And Dylan Cup hit by the first pitch thrown by Braden Pierce. What a way to start the fourth inning. 2-2 ball game, bandage baseball and the 6-4-3 Cougars as we play the top of the fourth. Going to bring up Brody Gettner. Gettner was hit by a pitch in the first inning, scored the second run for the Bandits. Again, we've got a 2-2 ball game here in the fourth. So it'll bring up double zero Gettner, right-handed hitter. First pitch on the way from Pierce. No, it's going to be a throw over to first. Again, defensively, Ryan Novak over there at first. Cooper Davidson at second. K.K. Toe at short. Zeke Moore at third. First pitch on the way to Gentner. And time is called again. Pierce again will turn, make the throw over to first, and they got him. Second time's a charm as they pick off Dunphy over there at first. Dunphy was pinch running for the pitcher, Dylan Cup, and he gets caught stealing over there at first, picked off, and there's one away. So no base runners now. Gettner with a first pitch from Pierce. And that one knocks him down, even though it's a little high and a little inside. Count one ball, no strikes. Got action in the 
sideline there for the 643 Cougars. Pitch in there for a strike. The count is even a one ball, one strike. Pitch on the outside corner. Runs the count to two balls and a strike. A right-handed hitting Gentner digs back in. Pierce delivers. Strike. A little high, but enough of the strike zone to even the count at two and two. Chase Goddard, the third baseman. Moves into the on-deck circle. 2-2 two -two pitch. Swung at, fouled to the back screen. Count remains, two balls, two strikes. Two-two delivery from Braden Pierce. Out of the stretch. Left that ball short. Nice job by Trichell behind the plate to backhand it. No base runners, so not trying to hold anybody, but they keep the ball in front of them nonetheless. Full cap, 3-2 pitch, comes in low and short, ball four. So a patient Brody Gentner at the plate draws the base on balls. He's down at first. If Dunphy pinch running for Cup doesn't get thrown out on that pickoff move by Pierce at first. Bandits have runners right now at first and second with nobody out. Instead, they've got a runner at first with one down. Pierce does make a quick throw over to there just to keep the attention of Kittner. First pitch. Swung out on a sinker. Taken for a strike. No balls in the strike here. The count on Chase Goddard. Goddard grounded to short. His only previous at bat in this ball game. Pierce winds, delivers. Outside corner, but low. And the count even a one ball, one strike. Again, quick turnaround. There was a little bit of time in between games. 6-4-3 Cougars a chance to catch their breath and throw the ball a little bit. The Bandits eliminated San Diego show over on the adjacent field. They had to quickly turn around, come over here to field eight and get ready to play this ball game. Right now, we're tied at two. One ball, one strike. The count here to Goddard. Light rain continuing to fall here at East Cobb. Pierce just kind of chucks the ball over there to first. Gettner didn't look like he had much of a lead to begin with, but Braden Pierce getting ready for the 1 1 delivery. Here it comes down low. Backhanded stab behind the plate by Trichel. Runs the count to two and one. This one here is a chopper. Going to get through out into left field. And the Bandits will now have runners at first and second with one out. Hit out in the left field of Luke Vizdak. Correction out in left field is 22, Tony DeMastry. And they've switched up defensively out in the left field. Time called again behind home plate. First pitch on the way to Gordon Ramey, or Garen Ramey, and here's the throw, and it's going to be Aaron going to get over the glove of Moore at first. One run is in. Two runs are in. Here's the throw home. That's going to be Aaron. They're going to throw over to third. That's going to get by the third baseman covering. And by the time it's all said and done, the Bandits will have scored two runs. And standing at third is Garen Ramey. That's a single with two throwing errors.
So two runs are in. As Gettner came around to score, Goddard came around to score. And Garen Ramey right now standing at third. Discussion going on right now over on the far side at first base involving the Bandits head coach. That is Kit Cowan. Three umpires working these championship games here at East Cobb. And they're going to have the bandit runner, Ramey, go back to second. And now the head coach of the Cougars, Steve Robertson, is over on the third base side, I guess, to get some clarification on what the discussion was over on the first base side. We're so far out here in left field, up above the left field fence, or the left center field fence. We can see, but we cannot hear what the discussion is about. All right, so there goes my scorebook on that one. Not sure if it was because he threw the bat, maybe. But runners are again on second and third. And there's now two outs in the inning. So scratch off those two runners. I had Gentner and Goddard having scored. That's no longer the case. It is still a 2-2 ball game. Second and third here for the Bandits. And now there's two outs. So no runs have scored. Bring back the two that did score. There's two down at the plate is Ross Norman. Runner down at second is Chase Goddard. Braden Pierce set to deliver the pitch to Norman. And did that one hit him? I believe it did. Made contact with the jersey. Second batter for the Bandits to be hit by a pitch here in the inning. Remember, this whole inning started with the first pitch from Dylan Cup, or I should say the first pitch to Dylan Cup from Braden Pierce hit him in the shoulder. And so here's Tyler Goddard. Another visit to the mound on the way. And I think we've got a pitching change coming up. Conference out on the mound for the 6-4-3 Cougars. And it looks like that will be it for Braden Pierce. New pitcher on the hill for the 6-4-3 Cougars is number 12, Daniel Izari. Correction looks like Cooper Davidson. Yeah, the new pitcher is 16, Cooper Davidson. On in relief of Braden Pierce. So we'll see what other defensive changes the 6-4-3 double play Cougars will come up with here. Davidson getting some warm-up pitches before we continue here. Again, playing in the top of the fourth inning. 
It's again a 2-2 ball game. The two runs that scored earlier this inning brought back. And the Bandits with runners again at second and third. With two outs here in the inning. So if Davidson can come on in relief of Pierce and retire the side, that would be huge. Because again, it essentially erases two runs for the Bandits and keeps the game tied at two. So here's Davidson facing Tyler Goddard. The right-hander comes set, winds and delivers. This is short in the outside corner. Throw back to first. And did they get him? No, it was awfully close. Ryan Novak over there at first. Novak's actually out here in center field. One ball, no strikes. The count here to Goddard. Davidson winds and fires and pulls in a strike. Trying to get a number on that first baseman over there. Bright pink with silver numerals from the left field fence. This one here is going to be chopped out into left field. It's going to be foul. And the runners will remain and go back to second and third. So like double zero, Ramsey Robertson is on at first, first baseman over there. Another Aaron baseball coming from the field behind us. One ball, one strike to count here to Tyler Goddard. Two down here in the inning, top of the fourth, the 2-2 ball game. Second and third here for the baseball, for the Bandit Baseball Club out of Ringgold, Georgia. Cooper Davidson pitching to Goddard, first batter he's faced, coming in in relief of Braden Pierce. Right-hander winds, comes set, now winds and delivers. And this one here is going to be hit to toe it short. He'll turn, make the throw over to second. Got him just in time. Wow, what a play. KK Toe to the second baseman covering and a su superb job defensively. There by the 6-4-3 double play Cougars. And in the end, no run score. So we'll X through those runs that we had down for Gettner and Goddard. No runs on two hits. And there were two runners left on as we head down to the bottom of the fourth. The Cougars coming to the plate. You're watching coverage of the Travel Ball National Championship from Marietta, Georgia, right here on TravelBallSelect.com.
A reminder, go to TravelBallSelect.com to see the latest news, national rankings, and players to watch in travel baseball nationwide. Right now you're watching coverage of Travel Ball National Championship from Marietta, Georgia. A couple of Georgia teams, Georgia Banded Baseball out of Ringgold, Georgia. It's up in the northwest quadrant of the state, the 643 Double Play Cougars right here from the Marietta, Georgia area. Here's pitch hit out into center field. It's over the glove of Dunphy right below us. He'll turn, make the throw back in. A nice one at that, and they hold the batter, Vizdak, to a single. That was a well-hit ball out to center field over the outstretched glove of Nate Dunphy, but he did a good job staying with the ball right in front of us, uh, right down below us on the warning track. Get that ball back into the cutoff, man, and they hold Vizdak to a what you would call a long single. Here's Zeke Moore. Vizdak, Moore, and Pierce, the scheduled batters here in the 6-4-3 double play Cougar fourth. Dylan Cup still on the hill here for the Bandits. First pitch sails high for ball one to Zeke Moore. He was a strikeout victim in the second. Cup comes set, turns, delivers, pitch tracks low, and the count two balls and no strikes. So two balls, no strikes, the count to Zeke Moore. The pitch from Cup, beautiful, great location, right in there for a strike, it's two and one. 2-2 our score here for the Cougars and the Bandits. The pitch on the way from Dylan Cup. The right-hander delivers. Swung at and missed. That one, a little bit of a slurve, as they say. Slider and a curve. Again, great release. Moore chased it. And the count is even here at two balls and two strikes. Two-two pitch on the way from Dylan Cup. Turns and fires, and it hit him in the left shoulder. And so Moore is hit by a pitch. And it will bring up this afternoon's starting pitcher, Braden Pierce. Runners now at first and second, nobody out. Bottom of the fourth inning. So the tall, lanky, right-handed hitting Braden Pierce steps in, facing Dylan Cup. First pitch, they show Bunt right back out in front of the plate. Cup fields it, fell down, and not able to make a good throw. Pierce is safe at first, and the bases are loaded now for the Cougars. Nobody out. Vizdak at third, Moore down at second, Pierce at first. Nobody down. So here's Dylan Cup now. First pitch on the way to Cooper Davidson. Down low, ball one. And Davidson for a split second looked like he was showing bunt. Cup has got to be alert and aware here with the bases loaded. No balls in a strike here to Pierce. Here's the pitch by Cup, low and outside. Nice backhanded stab behind the plate by Ross Norman. And the count is even a one ball, one strike. Here's the pitch up high, two and one. Again, Goddard out in left field. Nate Dunphy below us in center. Jack Fleming in right. Pitch low and outside. Another nice backhanded stab. The count now three balls and a strike.
So 3-1 count here on Cooper Davidson. And a pitch. This one here has popped up. And it's going to bounce. One bounce in fair territory just inside the third baseline. And they let it bounce into foul territory. And the count here is full. Three balls, two strikes. So big, big pitch coming up here from Dylan Cup. A walk scores a run. Strikeout becomes the first out of the inning. A hit is trouble. Here's the 3-2 pitch. Swung at, hit out into center field. Right to Dunphy who makes the catch. Fires a bullet back into the catcher. And the runners hold. One down, great throw by the center fielder, Nate Dunphy. One bounce back into the hands of Ross Norman, standing right in front of the plate. F8 on the putout. And Ramsey Robertson, who platooned at first, stepping in. Had a fly ball out to Goddard in left, his only previous at bat. First pitch from Cup. Down low, ball one. Again, Vizdak at third, Moore at second, Pierce at first. Cup comes set, a 1-0 pitch. And that's a chopper fielded by the third baseman. He'll, did he win the foot race to third? Does not. And a run scores as Vizdak scores from third to give 6-4-3. A one-run lead here, 3-2, nobody out. And a visit the home plate to talk to the umpire by Kit Cowan. I think the question there was whether that ball was actually fair or was it in foul territory. We don't have replay on this broadcast, but there was a slight split second look like hesitation by the third baseman, Chase Goddard, as to whether or not it was fair or in foul territory. And in that split second when he made that decision, he turned and that's when he tried to win that foot race to the bag at third because I guess he did not hear it. the umpire over here on the third base side yell out foul or didn't hear that coming from behind home plate from the home plate umpire. So we got a 3-2 ball game now. Bases are still loaded. And here's DJ Azari and he's going to line this one back up the middle. One run is in. Pierce is going to turn and he's going to hold up at third. Another beautiful throw back in from shallow center by Nate Dunphy. And Izari delivers an RBI single. And coming into score that time is Moore, with Braden Pierce now holding it third. The single in the RBI, and it's back to the top of the order here for the 6-4-3 double play Cougars. And we'll see if there's a pitching change here for the Bandits. Got a conference out on the mound. Two runs here in the inning. And it's now 4-2 ball game. One of those games that if you're sitting over on the side of the Bandits dugout, you're going to think back to those two runs that you had scored by Gentner and Goddard that were called back. And we're not sure exactly why they were called back, just because of our lo broadcast location here, but hey, go ahead. got some changes going on. They're going to switch to a left-handed pitcher. Oh, no. uh, I got and getting some okay. warm-ups here I got it, I is number 12 for the Bandits. Garen Ramey. So Ramey will step off the bag at first. And he becomes the first relief pitcher following the starter, Dylan Cup. We'll have to check any other changes defensively here by the baseball bandits. Ramey continuing to get some warm-up tosses here. Four to our score. Two runs have crossed already, Vizdak and Moore.
And so a quick stoppage in play here. Again, we invite you to visit online at TravelBallSelect.com. You can see the latest news and national rankings, as well as players to watch in your area and across the country for travel baseball nationwide. You can also go to NationsBaseball.com to enter a travel ball event in your area. So we'll check the outfield here. The outfielders have come back out onto the field. Looks like Goddard stays in and plays left field. Dunphy is below us here in center. And Fleming remains in right. Trying to check and see who that first baseman is. Looks like Dylan Cup may have moved from pitcher to first. Well, Jack Fleming now has moved to first base. Here's the first pitch by Ramey. It's outside ball one. Right field now is Cade Cowan. And this one, here's a line drive right to the first baseman for one out. And he turns around and steps on the bag at first. That's a heads up, bang, bang play. Jack Fleming catching the line drive, turning around, stepping on the bag to catch DJ Izari off the bag. Bang, bang, double play. And that'll do it for the Bandits. Well, that'll do it for 6-4-3 double play Cougars here in the fourth, but they do score two runs on four hits. And as we head now to the top of inning number five here in Marietta, Georgia, 4-2 our score, 6-4-3 Cougars leading Bandits baseball. You're watching coverage of Travel Ball National Championship right here on TravelBallSelect.com. Heading to the top of the fifth inning here at Field 8 at uh, the ballpark at East Cobb. Coverage of the Travel Ball National Championship. 4-2 now. The 6-4-3 double play Cougars leading Bandit Baseball. Leading things off here for the Bandits, Tyler Goddard here in the fifth. The 0-1 pitch missed a little high and inside to count even at one ball, one strike. Cooper Davidson again returns on the mound for the Cougars. Pitch on the outside corner. Puts Davidson ahead here. One ball, two strikes. Goddard, Cowan, and Fleming scheduled the bat here in the Cougars' top half of inning number five. Here's a chopper across the middle. Fielded there by Toe and in time on the throw over to Robertson at first. And there's one away. KK Toe awfully impressive at shortstop. One down. Here's a sharply hit line drive right into the glove of the first baseman. Back at first is Ryan Novak. 
and there's two away. Hard hit ball by Cowan. And just like that, two batters down here for banded baseball. Going to bring up Jack Fleming. And Fleming is going to hit this one foul over on the third base side. So no balls in the strike to Fleming. You may remember he was thrown out on a ball that you would think would be a single into right. He was thrown out at first. Gets underneath this one here, hits it into foul territory, giving chase. And it lands out of bounds. Ezekiel Moore over there at third gave chase, couldn't get there in time. No balls, two strikes to count. 4-2 ball game now. 6-4-3 Cougars have a two-run lead here in the top of inning number five. The 0-2 pitch down low. Count one and two. So a ground ball out to short by Tyler Goddard. A line ball, a line drive ball right in the glove of Novak at first and quickly two away. Two balls, two strikes to count here on Fleming. Davis Chastain would hit next. Here's a ground ball, and it's going to get into right field. Good effort there by the second baseman to try to make a play on that, but couldn't get there in time. It's a hard hit ball. And for Fleming, he picks up his first hit of the game, a two-out single into right. And it will bring up the final batter in the order, hitting 10th, Davis Chastain. Quick turn, throw over to first, not in time. Brandon Trichel, who started the game catching, has moved out into the field. He's playing second base right now. And just down below us, Harrison Weber still in center. Another quick throw over to first. And runner in Fleming, back in plenty of time. On well, the right-handed hurler, Davidson facing the lefty. Here's another throw over to first. And Fleming slowly gets back up. Two down as Chastain awaits the first pitch. Here it comes, it sails high, ball one. So ball no strikes here to the number 10 hitter in the lineup, Davis Chastain. 0 for 1 today, fly ball out to left field is only previous at bat. Another quick throw over to first, back just in time is Fleming. It's the fourth time that Davidson has thrown over to first. A 1-0 pitch, down low, the runner goes, and the throw is not in time, stolen base. Pinch runner out there is Davis Chastain. So Dunphy at the plate. And he gets a hold of this one. It's going to be a two hopper to second. Picked up there by Brandon Trichel. The throw over to Novak at first. Four to three on the putout. Four out number three. So nothing going other than the one hit by. Chastain, and as we head now to the bottom of inning number five, still a 4-2 ball game, 6-4-3 Cougars, 
have a 4-2 lead over here over Bandits Baseball. Again, you're watching coverage of the Travel Ball National Championship from Marietta, Georgia, right here on TravelBallSelect.com. Dave Cohen back here, Field 8, East Cobb Baseball Complex in Marietta. Coverage of the Travel Ball National Championship. 4-2 to two now, 6-4-3 double play Cougars leading Bandits Baseball. A couple of Georgia teams here in this one as we play the bottom of inning number 5. At the plate, A.J. DeMaestri. And takes the second pitch, the 0-1 pitch. It bounces right in front of the plate. And the count is even a one ball, one strike. DeMaestri, Novak, and Trichel scheduled the bat here in the fifth. And this one here is hit on the ground, fielded nicely by Cooper Davidson, makes the throw to Fleming at first. Four to three on the putout. And there's one away. So Ryan Novak stepping in. Novak so far today has a couple of hits, singled in the first, singled in the third as he takes a strike on that first pitch by Garen Ramey. Ramey on in relief of Dylan Cup. The left-hander winds, delivers, and this one here is sharply hit. Nice job by the first baseman, Fleming. Fields the ground ball, steps in the bag, two down. So a three unassisted. For the second out is Brandon Trichel. First pitch on the way from Ramey. Sails high at outside, ball one. At very light rain showers, about 20, 30 minutes ago, they have moved out of the area, and we've got bright, sunshiny weather here. This one here lifted up behind second base. Coming on to make the catch is the left fielder, 24, Cade Cowan, for out number three. F9 on the put out. There was a little bit of confusion there as to whether it would be Cade Cowan, or well, whether or not it would be a play for the second baseman, Davis Chastain. But a good job there by Cowan coming on, making the catch. And 6-4-3 double play Cougars go in order. To Maestri, Novak, and Trichel. No runs, no hits, no errors. Nobody left. We head now to the top of inning number six here in Marietta, Georgia. 4-2 to two now. The Cougars leading Bandit Baseball. 
You're watching coverage of the Travel Ball National Championship here on TravelBallSelect.com. Back here, the Travel Ball National Championship, 4-2 our score, 6-4-3 double play Cougars, a 4-2 lead over Bandit Baseball, program out of Ringgold, Georgia. Here's a chopper to second, going to be fielded there, the throw to Pierce, who's now playing first in plenty of time. So one down here for the Bandits. And they need two more to clinch it. Brody Gettner, after Dylan Cup grounded out. Brody Gettner, who has walked and has been hit by a pitch. When he was hit by a pitch in the first, he actually scored a run. He scored again in the fourth. He was the first of the two runs that they called back. A 1-0 pitch. Lofts this one into the air in right field. And the catch is made for out number two. Catch made by Daniel Azari out in left field. So 6-4-3 double play Cougars try to clinch it. They need one out to do it. And they've got a two-run lead. F9 on that put out, here's Chase Goddard. Goddard one for two, singled in the fourth. He was the second run that was called back. And he pops this one up in the infield. The pitcher is there to make the catch. And the 6-4-3 double play Cougars have beaten Bandit Baseball by the final score of four to two. So the guys in those bright pink jerseys got down early after the Bandits scored two runs in the top of the first. They came back and scored two in the second, the Cougars did. And then when the Bandits scored those two runs in the fourth, they went ahead 4-2. They were then called back. It was again a 2-2 ball game. Bottom of the fourth, two runs by Vizdak and Moore to take the 4-2 lead for the Cougars and they end up holding on to get the win and coming in to close it out is Garen Ramey. So congratulations to the Cougars of 6-4-3 double play Osden Marietta, Georgia. Two teams will exchange handshakes, trophy presentation and another great broadcast, great coverage here with our entire crew of Travel Baseball National Championship. We'll have more coverage as the afternoon continues right after this. Again, congratulations to the 6-4-3 double play Cougars. Final again, they beat Bandit Baseball in this battle of these two Georgia programs. The final score, 4-2. For the entire crew, Matthew Kent, Jamel Smith, and Amy Walker, Dave Cohen, saying good afternoon from Marietta, Georgia, the East Cobb Baseball Complex. Thanks for watching. It's Travel Baseball National Championship right here on the TravelBallSelect.com.